Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. All right, good morning guys. We're here in Oregon with our good friends Jason and Pat and uh, for some of you guys that have watched the TV episodes before we're back in a place that's pretty near and dear to us. We've done a hunt like this or either in this unit or one of the neighboring units oh five or more times now. This year we're gonna be tagging along with Pat and um, for the record how many preference points did you burn? 20. 20. So Jason, you're actually coming up on that too, I think, right? 18. 18, so kind of what we got going here, guys, is I've had the opportunity to hunt this on a premium tag several several times now. So I'm here just as a tag along, but to share some wisdom and some knowledge of at least what I've learned um, in the later season part of this hunt. And as you guys can see, we're in the snow now and, and winter is starting to come. So we're gonna start hunting some of the old haunts that I know a lot of these big bulls come back to, right? It's like what I was telling you guys, we do a lot of trail camming in this country and where these bulls summer is where they winter. Hunting them in the transition ground is really tough, so the more weather we get, it pushes them down. Hopefully we get them back home. But anyway, guys, so we're here in Oregon. We're on a 20-point elk hunt. See you guys out there. well underway right now we've done a really good hike this morning we're about two miles down into a big canyon system where we were able to get up on a perch and get some elevation so plan is to stay most of the day right here we can glass 360 degrees um, this time of year the mornings can be a little iffy we have already spotted a couple bulls but I know from experience that the evening hunts tend to be a lot better so we're gonna make sure we stay put here today stay warm and just keep on the glass and hopefully turn up some bulls should be a great week of hunting we'll see you guys out there Need to find a big brother around. Dude, he's got a seven on both sides. Doesn't yeah. he, Bob? Yeah. He does on his left for sure.
This segment is brought to you by the Night Force 5 to 25 by 56 Enhanced ATAC R Rifle Scope. Features a lightning fast 30 minute per revolution zero stop turret, a 34 millimeter tube allowing for 120 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass producing brilliant images and exceptional color contrast. The new Zeiss Victory RF laser range finding binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's range finder of choice. Yeah, you can just see his body. What did you see, Bob? I see big backs. I'm not yeah. sure. Like, like big, I don't know. I don't even want to say it. Could have been brush, I don't know. But it looked, it looked legit for a second. That bull has, is close to 50 inch beams, you can call it. Look at 26. Yeah, they do look long. 26 to his four. The bull's got 50 inch beams, 30 inch spread. The bull's got a 196 frame. He's got. He's 15, got. So start out that over 50 inch beams. 50 inch beams. 40 spread, so we're going. No, 38 spread. But 38. And he's got a 50 inch mask, so he's 196 on his frame. Okay. He's got a 15 1, a 13 2. 9-3, a 15-4, and a 15-5, 3 67 and a 2-inch outside that I did, so 69 plus 71, so that's 140, plus 196, <laughs> so it's 336. They got five inches just for whatever. Right. I had a feeling he was going to be when I looked there, but that's why I keep saying I'm not saying what it's doing. He definitely looks a lot more impressive. Though. He's not under three, sir. I will promise you that. He's not. Well, guys, not the worst day. <laughs> no, good day. Good day. Um, pretty cold. Got a little bit of time to catch a nap in the sunlight in the middle of the day. At least I did anyway. They said I was snoring, but what did we end up seeing? Total count was it five or six bigger bulls? You know, bigger framed six-point type bulls. We did see a really interesting seven by seven, but. He's not gonna make the cut this early in the trip. Eh? Good day anyway, so first day's out of the way. We might change our game plan a bit tomorrow because I still think even with seeing five or six big bulls in here, we should have seen more. I'm not sure they're all home yet. So we might move inland a little bit and see if we can't catch them maybe still in transition. But anyway, good first day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Day three, being snowed in. We're getting everybody kind of packed up, 
getting out of here. Bob's trying to back his trailer out. We got about 15 inches of snow on the ground and uh, we got to move camp. So it's been fun. Got to clean up camp, moving downhill a little bit and uh, going from there. Hopefully have a, another side by side with tracks coming in and uh, we'll make some fun. Hopefully get a bull down. I said we're getting really good at this extreme camping stuff. Elk shooting, not so much. Maybe we can do an episode of fly fishing or something next. Yeah, we're gonna have to. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by MOA Rifles, now offering their extreme series actions. Built with long-range performance in mind, MOA actions are constructed to handle the most advanced bullet and cartridge combinations on the market. For information, visit MOARifles.com. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store, now offering optics, bullets, and accessories for all your hunting needs. For more information, visit theextremestore.us. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by the all-new Extreme Heavy Hybrid line of Burger Bullets. Extreme, rated best in class, ballistic coefficient, heavy, delivers the greatest amount of kinetic energy per caliber. Hybrid will extend the effective range of your rifle. Go to the Extreme store to get yours today. guys well we're back at it here on Pat's Oregon elk hunt uh, a lot has happened and I mean a lot has happened since we've been rolling the camera uh, we were on a really good start had a great day of hunting went to bed woke up and we all exaggerating aside had 17 inches of snow at our camp which was up a little higher than this so we basically didn't get to film too much other than tearing things down and our number one concern became getting our camp off the hill for safety reasons because the forecast has another day or two like that um, coming up here shortly. So we basically lost a whole day, brought camp down to the valley. And uh, right here, I wanna give a special thank you to uh, John Stadelman at Redmond Polaris. So for any of you Oregon guys, uh, that are in a pinch and have a Polaris, John at Redmond Polaris will take care of you now. They don't sponsor anything. I'm just giving them a thank you because I called them from the mountaintop. I had this Ranger in my shop, which is just three miles from their shop. And I said, do you have any tracks and can you put them on right now and get it to Northeast Oregon? And they made it happen within a matter of hours and the thing was on a trailer to us. So while we were moving our camp down, they were bringing us a tracked machine because without this right now, we wouldn't even be on the mountain and this hunt would be looking like it was gonna really go sideways. So anyway, we feel like we're kind of starting to ground zero, but the hunt should be really good. I'm hoping this amount of snow should get these bulls either moving or get them out exposed because with the cold and the snow, they gotta eat. So anyway, we're gonna just take the track machine and get around the mountains and start really looking into lower meadow pockets, uh, hopefully brushy ones where there's still leafy feed and just really get to peeling these hills apart. So here we go guys, Northeast Oregon elk, take two. If I was a bull in this weather, I'd be easy to kill. I'd be all nestled up to a fire. <laughs> all the Just smoke. Follow, follow the smoke. Follow the smoke. <laughs>
This segment is brought to you by Trigger Tech Triggers. With the most advanced technology in the industry, Trigger Tech Triggers offer the most precise, consistent, and dependable triggers for your rifle. On the range or in the mountains. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Benchmark Barrels, the rifle barrel of choice for long-range hunters, competition shooters, and sport shooters worldwide. Ask for one on your next re-barrel or custom rifle build. Guys, we did it. We just killed a slammer 7x7 bull. His right side has got an extra four, it's got double four. His left side straight six with a flyer. Dude, that bull is bad to the bone. Nice. <laughs> and he is down and he is yours, buddy. Right on, <laughs> thank you, man. Excellent shooting. Absolutely tanked that bull. High shoulder on the first shot. Just dropped him like a rock. I see extra points from here. <laughs> nice. Nice ball, Pat. Here, I'll take the gun, let you grab the rack. Show everybody those extras. Oh my gosh. Look at that. A good ball. Good ball, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's built like a Roosevelt. <laughs> kind of is. Look at the trying to crown out. Man. Dude, we ground out for that. Look at the body on this thing. He's a tank, man. That's oh, cool. Stud wall. Well, thank you, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for the good tutelage on the shooting. Yeah, so guys, I made Pat bring the gun. We knew the bull was dead, but this is uh this is actually one of my 300 rums. I think it's the one that I killed the Zuni bull with. So you guys might have seen this on TV. But anyway, Pat ended up with it. And now he just smashed a giant. So this thing apparently does well on elk. It's got a 300 rum. Night Force Attacker on it. Shooting the Burger 245. 245. Just hammered that thing. He dropped like a sack of potatoes on the first shot. Dude. Well, guys, just a little quick overview. I think we're... A bit lucky that we killed this bull because they're saying what 12 inches or more snow mm -hmm. coming next. in tonight and tomorrow so things were going to get a whole lot more difficult so good shooting for pat glad to be part of the episode got the boys here we got todd we got that everybody's been on the glass grinding hiking looking whatever it takes shoot a bull with some character third or fourth the last day of season beat the snowstorm i don't think you can top that great trip guys thanks man appreciate good it good job awesome. guys Thank you all right good that's all we work. have yeah all the time we have for this week's episode catch you guys next week extreme outer limits brought to you by mcmillan stocks rugged ridge outdoor gear night force optics Grip and Pull, the best bullet puller in the world. MOA Rifles, Star Valley Outfitters, and Broken Top Outfitters. And also brought to you by...